Hey, what's going on guys? Dragon Dog here and welcome back to another Rush Wars video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over my day 2 defense log and how I did. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and be sure to leave a like. It shows me that you guys like these Rush War videos and you want to keep seeing more of them. Now, today's defense layout was a little bit more tricky because as you can see in the upper part of the base, the second section of the base, there's one tower that's completely exposed and there is no way I'm going to protect that tower without losing my other two. So I decided that I would just sacrifice that one tower if it means protecting my other two because at least I'll get majority of the stars. So with my team bonus, I did get the dummy and that basically is a tank and once it blows up or once it dies, it will blow up with a bomb and it usually kills all the spammy troops. Now originally I had my dummy pitcher combo at the top of the map more towards where the cannon was. I put the dummy on the bridge where kind of where the cannon was and I put the pitcher behind the two ice barrels. This was not a good placement because as soon as the dummy died, those troops would just move up towards my pitcher. It would hit my pitcher, but it will also hit my tower too. So it got double value from that. So I didn't see it being the best place to put it. That's why I moved it down to the bottom where I could put the pitcher behind a wall and if a bazooka came or something came to hit my pitcher it most likely wouldn't hit my other tower now the reason why the cannon and the laser at the top specifically the cannon is in front of the laser is because i really wanted the cannon to tank for the laser the laser is super good because his shot actually pierces through enemies and or pierces through the troops killing them much faster and if i have that little bit of extra hp while the laser is shooting it really goes a long way and it has helped me in a lot of the defenses making the cannon tank for the laser also one thing to note is that where the laser is right now there was two explosive barrels that i did remove for 50 coins and there was also two explosive barrels in front of the mortar so overall it costs about 100 coins but i definitely think it was worth it because i do win a lot more defenses but the reason why i removed those barrels is because if someone threw like an arcade at it, then the barrels would blow up and my cannon would actually take a lot more damage from it. Now getting into my mortar placement, I did place it centralized middle because it was able to start to shoot the troops as they were attacking the initial tower in the second quadrant, but it also was able to protect the main gold mine and the little gold mine at the same time, which is really good. You wanna always place your mortar in a centralized area where it could splash troops. One more thing to note though about the mortar placement, it is just far back enough where the troops would draw aggro towards the cannon side or the dummy side so that it doesn't shoot the mortar because it's super important to keep the mortar alive to kill all the spammy troops or any, any troops that are in big clusters. It'll just completely destroy them. And I think that the two defenses that should be in every single base right now is the mortar and cannon because they absolutely destroy everybody. They have a high amount of HP and a good amount of DPS. And I just think that there are essentials in every single base design you do, whether you copy this base or whether you make your own base. Now, most of the time with this base, you're either going to get one or two star. So that means you're either get one star profit or two stars profit from each defense. There is one battle in this video where I did get three star, but the only reason why they three starred me was because one shield unit was left alive with just one HP left and he was able to take out my main tower and also my little tower. But my laser was still alive, but it was in that second quadrant area. So it wasn't able to draw aggro and kill that last shield. I definitely think that this base is reliable for all different types of attacks just because it covers a good amount of single damage unit and it also does a good amount of splash damage. Now if you don't have a dummy I would just put maybe a trap instead, something along those lines. Whatever you get from your team bonus is usually a good thing so just plop it right there instead of the dummy if you don't have it. But other than that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you did like this layout, and I hope you guys try it out too. It is really a good layout. I got a lot of stars off of this one. 
And also, I am going to be trying to post every single day my defense. Maybe it might be a short video or something along these lines. But I do want to get my defense out every single day until we have all the defense layouts for you guys. So you can always have something to turn to. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe right now. And also, be sure to drop a like and comment down below what type of Rush War videos you guys want to see. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace!